got new information this morning. It reportedly shows Facebook gave its corporate partners extensive access to your personal data for years and never told anyone. A report in the New York Times says Facebook made data sharing deals with dozens of the world's other tech giants. Internal documents appear to show that Facebook allowed companies to access information like users' private messages and the names of virtually all of their Facebook friends. It's the latest privacy scandal to hit the social media giant. Tony DeCopel is here with the potential impact for its 2.2 billion users. Tony, good morning. Good morning. The Times says it reviewed hundreds of pages of Facebook documents and interviewed about 50 former employees and its corporate partners. The Times allegedly found Facebook collects more information on people than almost any other private corporation in history. At a congressional hearing in April, CEO Mark Zuckerberg insisted the data of Facebook's more than 2 billion users is safe. Yes or no, is Facebook limiting the amount or type of data Facebook itself collects or uses? Congressman, yes, we limit a lot of the data that we collect and use. But according to a new report in the New York Times, for years, Facebook struck deals to share users' personal data with more than 150 companies including Netflix, Spotify, and Amazon. Among the allegations in the report, Facebook allowed Spotify, Netflix, and the Royal Bank of Canada to read, write, and delete users' private messages. Amazon was able to obtain users' names and contact information through their friends. And Microsoft's Bing was able to see the names of virtually all Facebook users' friends without consent. We have a basic responsibility to protect people's data. And if we can't do that, then, then we don't deserve to have the opportunity to serve people. Privacy issues, security breaches, and the distribution of fake news has plagued Facebook for months. The scandals have forced Zuckerberg and Chief Operating Officer Sheryl Sandberg to publicly apologize. We know that we did not do a good enough job protecting people's data, and I'm really sorry for that, and Mark's really sorry for that. The Times reports Facebook's partners were able to seek the data of hundreds of millions of people a month. The Times says the deals were all active in 2017, and some were still in effect this year. In a statement to CBS News, Facebook said its partners don't get to ignore people's privacy settings, and it's wrong to suggest that they do, adding, we know we've got work to do to regain people's trust, and that's where we've been focused for most of 2018. Now, this could go beyond bad public relations for Facebook, and here's why. A 2011 settlement agreement with the Federal Trade Commission requires Facebook to obtain consumers' consent before sharing their information. A Facebook spokesperson told The Times most of its partnerships did not require this because it, quote, considered partners' extensions of itself pretty clever. Facebook says it found no evidence that any of those partners abused users' data. And speaking of the partners, in a statement to CBS News, Netflix said at no time did we access people's private messages on Facebook or ask for the ability to do so. A spokesperson for Microsoft's Bing said, throughout our engagement with Facebook, we requested all user, we respected all user preferences. Spotify said they were unaware of the broad powers Facebook had granted them. The bottom line is Facebook has been saying we don't sell users' data, but this article alleges that they have been trading it. Well, Mark Zuckerberg has also assured lawmakers that people have complete control over everything that they share on Facebook, and that statement appears to be not true. You know, one of the media organizations given access to Facebook users' data was the New York Times that published this report. Yeah. Interesting to hear from them on that subject. But it was important that you brought up the point of whether or not they violated that FTC agreement. Because that could that is a lot of jeopardy for the company. That's going to echo in the weeks yeah. and months ahead. Yeah. Thank you, Tony DeCopel. You're very busy. Is it okay to tell America you and your lovely wife, Katie Turr, reported on another network, Mrs. Tony <laughs> DeCopel, are expecting a baby? We are indeed. Congrats. I mean, yes, it's okay. She already went public with it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Monogram yeah. and everything. It's on social media. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Privacy <laughs> settings have yeah. been pretty much lowered on that question. Congrats, Tony. Thank very you. happy. Good for New you Year. And the Katie. This is wonderful news for us.